Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am Maria Luisa Silva, Director of the United Nations Development Program Office in Geneva. Our organization is the largest development agency of the United Nations, present in 170 countries and territories, and attaining the Sustainable Development Goals is our core agenda. The SDGs, as we know them, provide a blueprint for the transition to a healthier planet and a more just world for present and future generations. Action over the last four years is producing results, but far more needs to be done to meet the transformational promise that the goals represent. The theme of your forum is spot on, as the United Nations Secretary General tells us that significant financing gap is one of the key factors limiting impact of global efforts to achieve the SDGs. My main message today is that private and blended capital will be central in meeting the investment gap. Of course, domestic, res domestic public resources and official development assistance remain critical, particularly for the poorest and most vulnerable countries. But most of the estimated five to seven trillion US dollars needed to ensure their fulfillment should come from private capital. The good news is that this should be possible. First, because there's no shortage of private wealth in global capital markets. The amount needed represents only around 2.5% of existing resources, less than half of it for developing countries. But most importantly, because SDG-aligned investments are enormous business opportunities, as the report of the Business and Sustainable Development Commission told us last year. They estimated that achieving the SDGs will create up to 12 trillion US dollars of new market opportunities in food and agriculture, cities, energy and materials, and health and well-being. It's true that we have witnessed positive trends with an increasing interest from market actors for sustainable and innovative financing. However, and let me underline that, private resources are not flowing towards sustainable investments fast enough. At UNDP, we are engaged in innovative partnerships contributing to realign resources and opportunity notably through supporting developing countries with integrated national financing strategies or working with impact investors, commercial banks, and the insurance industry to maximize their contribution to environmental, social, and economic sustainability. Metrics are also important. Together with the Impact Management Project, our SDG Impact Initiative is developing standards that authenticate whether investments are SDG aligned, also highlighting concrete opportunities for investors. The G7 meeting two weeks ago in Biarritz recognized this work and asked UNDP and OECD to continue working on the promotion of SDG compatible finance. As you know, Digital technologies are transforming the entire global financial ecosystem. The report of the United Nations Task Force on Digital Financing, co-chaired by the head of UNDP, Mr. Akim Steiner, and to be issued before the end of the year, will shed light on how tech can steer finance towards more sustainable investments and outcomes. Lastly, let me refer to the SDG Finance Geneva Summit that Mayofi organizes in October with the aim to forge new innovative partnerships between social entrepreneurs coming from the South and global investors. And we truly hope to see some of you there. I wish you all a very successful event. I look forward to hearing your ideas and conclusions on ways to accelerate the flow of private resources to SDG compatible investments. I thank you.